you put 200,000 people in a small area, you're going to have things happen. We were big believers that peace and love was an actual thing that was happening. Driving the back roads of Posey County, you'd never know what happened. Two promoters, Bob Alexander and Tom Duncan, had a vision to stage a festival that would rival Woodstock. Tune in, turn on, and drop out. That was Timothy Leary's quote. A young generation did just that. It was the Erie Canal Soda Pop Festival, but it will be forever remembered by the land's namesake, Bull Island. Well, you saw a lot of people, heard a lot of music, seen a lot of smoke. You uh, saw a lot of smoke? <laughs> well, well, I, I say wonder that. what that was. <laughs> I don't know, I guess it was a hot summer weather. All good intentions followed by turmoil. Bull Island took the cake. I look at that now and it kind of looks like it did back then. If you listen to the Beatles, you listen to their lyrics, there was a message in there about how to think, how to be positive about life and how to love other people and get along. And we thought this was how we were proving it. Rico Daniel loved the concept of festivals after Woodstock. What I saw mostly was people laying around on the ground or sitting on blankets and uh, a lot of people with no clothes. Sharon and John Pfeiffer, a love story, married for 64 years. In 1972, they were in their 30s, then and now living a stone's throw from Bull Island. The youth of the 1960s often said, don't trust anyone over 30. A lot of people, a lot of people having fun. Basically, they were good people. We had a little grocery store downtown and they completely cleaned out. The promoters expected no more than 55,000 to gather on the Illinois Township on the Indiana side of the Wabash. The crowd grew to 250,000. They could have destroyed this whole little town. I mean, we're, we're, we had no way to keep them from doing what they wanted to do. Just a handful of porta potties, hundreds of thousands needing to use them, few food vendors, but one commodity was in abundance. An author quipped, there were so many drugs, the cows got high. I saw the actual drug presence there, but it wasn't pervasive throughout the crowd. Law enforcement, outnumbered, watched for trouble. We heard reports and all that, and we just wanted to see for ourselves. So. We got to see. Nearby Interstate 64 became a parking lot. It was gridlock on other roads. Thousands left their cars and walked several miles to get to the gate. There was the rain. At least three people drowned in the Wabash River. Uh, a bunch of tarred, hungry people coming out from a campground where it rained all weekend. Makeshift ditches became sewers. Fresh water, scarce. Joe Cocker and Rod Stewart were among the acts. They canceled, the match was lit, the stage was torched. There was a lot of good there, there was a lot of bad that ended up there, but for me as a 20 year old person and my girlfriend, you know, we sort of got the experience that we wanted and we had our Woodstock. We checked the nooks and crannies to see the land beyond those trees, but Mother Nature and Father Time have embraced Bull Island. Bull Island and the lives it touched now belong to the ages. Brad Bird, Eyewitness News.